If you can't get back into your iDevice, I'll show you how to get back in. So as you can see, uh, we can't get back into the iPad because it is passcode locked. And it's plugged into iTunes right now and we can't get back in. So what we need to do is we need to put this into recovery mode. Keep in mind, if anything happens to your iPhone or iPad, I will not be responsible. So make sure you have a backup too, and let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to put this in recovery mode. So hold these two buttons, the power and home, until the screen goes black. And when the screen goes black, just keep holding the home button. So the screen went black, and holding down the home button. And now, well, let's take out our cable, and we're going to hit cancel up here. And cancel. And we're going to connect the iPad again. So as you can see, um, it didn't show the iTunes screen, but it is in recovery mode. So, as you can see, uh, we have a pop-up dialog here. Hit OK. And now what you want to do is hit restore iPad. And this is going to restore an update. So this is going to download the latest iOS, which is currently 10.2.1. And Agree. And now iTunes will start downloading the iOS 10.2.1. This is going to take a bit of time. It's a 2 gig file. So be patient. And just a quick uh, mention, I wanted to mention this, if you have a iPhone uh, 7 or newer with the Taptic Home button, or the non-clickable uh, non home button, uh, to enter uh, recovery mode, you're going to be pressing the volume down and the power. So, volume down and power, the volume down will be acting as the home button in this case, so you just follow the steps as we did for the iPad here. download is almost done we have about a minute left for the iPad software update to download so the iPad screen is still blank but it is in iTunes mode so about 50 more seconds remaining we have about 30 seconds remaining for this iPad to start restoring Now we have about 5 seconds remaining for this iPad to start restoring. So now, uh, for some reason, the recording software had quit, so um, nothing much had happened between this time. It's just extracting the software and preparing the iPad for restore. Now it is uh, prepping the iPad. Now it's just waiting for the iPad to turn back on. As you can see, the iPad automatically turned on, and it is now showing the Apple logo. And you can see the progress bar, just like how we install another regular update via the air. This process should take anywhere from a minute to five minutes, at most ten minutes. The progress bar on the screen and the iPad do not really match because the uh, progress bar on iTunes is more than half full and this one isn't, but it is restoring. And it looks like the progress bar is now full, so you should be able to set up the iPad soon. As you can see, iTunes has uh, no longer recognizes the iPad because it just shut off and it should be turning back on again. As you can see, it's turning back on automatically.
Now let's go to do the progress bar again, just to, uh, this is, this iPad's own thing, and this is no way in related to iTunes. And this bar should be much quicker than the first one. As you can see, iTunes has detected the iPad again, and it will allow you to set it up like a new iPad. Of course, you can also follow the on-screen instructions on the iPad itself. Now it's going to say activation lock and it is linked to uh, my Apple ID. So I'm going to type it in real quickly. I'm going to take this off the screen so I can enter the details. And once you have entered activation lock, you should be able to set this iPad as new. So as you can see, the iPad had made the charging tone and there you go. So now you can set up your I iPad just like normal. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope this video helped. Uh, do subscribe, do comment, do like. If you have any, uh, any questions, just post in the comment section below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.